Hey YouTube, uh, just wanted to talk about the season three finale of The Flash today. Um, overall, I gotta say I was a little underwhelmed by the episode. It wasn't a bad episode by any means, it's just that I felt that compared to the previous episode, it really, yeah, it just didn't hold up as well. Essentially it was two episodes tonally. Uh, what I mean by this is, is that uh, half the episode is spent trying to like sway Savitar over and then the other half of the episode is trying to um, stop him before uh, the paradox wave catches up to him and erases him. The reason I think that the, the previous episode was a stronger episode is, is that it was action packed. It was, a, um, it was a race to the finish line, literally. Like this episode was titled Finish Line and I get that they named it that way because of um, the, in the end of this episode uh, Barry goes into the Speed Force, so essentially he's reached his finish line. He's dead. Uh, that's yet another reason why uh, I don't think that this was a, as good of a finale. Because when this episode ends, Barry goes into the Speed Force and he's presumably dead or trapped or whatever for however long. However, it is the Flash. Grant Gustin is the headline of the show. And you just don't have a flash without Grant Gustin for very long, which means that he's not gone for good, or he's not. Maybe this version of him's gone, but uh, a Barry from the, another universe comes in. It's like I don't know how they're going to do it, but we know that the Flash is going to come back one way or another. So you didn't have that heartbreaking, tear-jerking moment. Like, don't get me wrong, it was emotional, but it's not quite as emotional as ending the season on Iris's death, which ended up being HR, but I mean, the, even so, the impact of that moment was far greater. That episode led up to that moment, it had its crescendo, and it came to a conclusion. This episode didn't have that. It had false starts, and it was kind of slow in the beginning, and then it got action-packed. Um, some of the cool things about this episode, though, was uh, I loved Barry taking over Savitar's suit. To see him in that suit was just bad ass. Um, I wish he hadn't have destroyed it, but the suit is just too overpowered. And if he had kept that suit, it just would have, it would have been made things too easy for him in future episodes. And so that's why they would have to destroy it. But I just kind of, I kind of wish that he'd kept it because it was just so, uh, to see it light up red like that when he phased in. Uh, in all honesty, part of me thought that when he phased into that suit that he was re-merging with his time remnant, uh, which would have been an interesting way to solve the problems, but then he was still would have been... Uh, I feel like if he'd done it that way, then at least the things that Savitar did would have still happened. And I know that they say that in this, they made a point in this series, season of saying that, you know, when somebody breaks the time law, the laws of time, that the more they break and the less it applies, but the fact of the matter is, is when Eddie, Eobard Thawne died almost instantly when Eddie shot himself. Uh, the instant that Iris didn't die in this one, it took a long time for it to catch up with him. And then even then it only erased his, um, it only erased him from existence. It didn't, it didn't erase all the things he'd done, like uh, Killer Frost shouldn't be Killer Frost anymore. Uh, Wally shouldn't have his powers anymore. Um, they should have never met Julian, and that was uh, that was another thing. I was actually a little disappointed not to see Julian in this episode. I don't know about you guys. Uh, Jesse Quick would have liked to see her there, but it made sense because she was going to protect uh, Jay Garrick's Earth, and since he was stuck in the Speed Force and didn't get out until the end, it made sense why she wouldn't be there. Um, like I said, I, overall it was a good episode. I just would have preferred to see it as a season premiere, so that we ended the season on Iris's death and oh my gosh what is Barry gonna do to come back from this is he gonna end up becoming uh, his dark self is he gonna and then after summer we find out haha it was HR all along uh, I think that was another thing that made it um, a weaker episode for me is this is that um, the flash does a good job of setting things up and they write well and so if you pay attention to things, they didn't introduce the face changer for no reason. You know, so when you see that before and then you see them bring it up again, the only reason they would bring it up again later on is to remind you that it existed so that when HR did pull the switcheroo, you were like, wait a minute, 
how did that happen? You know, because you'd forgotten about it. So when you see cues like that, it made it very apparent what was going to happen. Um, it wasn't necessarily going to be HR who had it, but I figured that somebody was using that face changer thing. And so I think that took away from, it took away from me some of the element of the, the, the suspense and the surprise and the whatever. Uh, if I'd had a whole summer to stew about it, I might have forgotten. And so when that reveal happened, it would have been like, oh, thank God, you know. Uh, anyways, what did you guys think of this season? Uh, what did you think of the finale? Uh, what do you think they should have done? And what do you think is going to happen next?